Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. We're going to be talking today about boiler rental, specifically talking about the mobile boiler room package of a fire tube boiler. We're here with 35-year veteran boiler man, Stephen Taylor. Stephen is the manager of our rental division. Steve, got your shades on, kind of cool in the sun. <laughs> He's got sensitive eyes, so we gotta be careful. Anyway, tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be seeing today. We're gonna take a look at a complete package, uh, mobile boiler room, uh, fire tube, typically. We're gonna start from the front, go to the back, and talk about everything that should be in that system. I know you know rental boilers, and you've heard about them, but we wanna give just a, just an overview of what is inside of a rental boiler. Let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about what makes up a typical modern mobile boiler room. Water coming in, comes in under the trailer, comes right through the water softener. These, typically these softeners are sized for 100% makeup, so you don't have to worry about adding chemicals, all the other issues that are associated with partial uh, makeup systems. Twin water softener, one in regeneration, one running all the time. Deerator system, uh, th that's a must in a modern system. Uh, dual feed water pumps, one for standby. If a pump goes out, you've always got a backup pump. To keep this up, this mobile boiler system running all the time. Uh, chemical pumps, they're also another big deal. Got to have chemical pumps in here for the deerator system and for the boiler system. On the deerator system, we also have uh, return lines coming back. So when you have condensate return in your system, you bring those back to the to the boiler to the deerator itself. Um, steam preheat valve. That's piped in automatically when the system comes to you. That's pre-piped in the system on top of the deodorant system, so it's, it's all a package, complete system. In the unit itself, of course, you're going to have a burner system. This, tip, this unit has a high-efficiency burner, um, made by Lensfield. Fuel trains, gas, number two fuel oil, either or. You can run natural gas or you can run diesel fuel, whatever works for you. Uh, control system, uh, flame safeguard system. This one has an auto flame uh, control system on it. Natural gas regulator, those are pre-piped into the system, downstream control lines. Everything's already pre-piped here for the system to operate as a package unit. All of your um, switch gear for, for all the controls in here, for all the three-phase power, it's all pre-wired, everything done. You bring one electrical power into the front of the, con of the trailer, everything is pre-wired in, inside the unit itself. Um, verbal speed drives, the blowers have verbal speed drives. The, the feed water pumps on the deer or have verbal speed drives. That cuts down on the power consumption for the customer, makes the system operate a lot more smoothly. Space heater, we mount a space heater in all these units. They're operated off of a thermostat so that if the temperature gets down and below a set point, that heater comes on to keep uh, the equipment from freezing up in here. We also have um, vent fans in the front of the trailer to help pull this hot air out of the trailer. We have vents in the back to, to bring fresh air in, combustion air, and just, just cooling air. Blowdown separator in the back, all the blowdown, surface, bottom, water column, all the blowdowns go to a central blowdown separator in the back of the unit. Now we're on the outside of the trailer. I want to show you a few things that you need to be aware of. First thing, emergency shutoff switch. Something happens, they need to shut the Houston system down. Right there, shuts the entire system down. Natural gas hookup on the outside of the trailer. Propane connection. If you're going to be firing diesel fuel, you don't have gas available, set a propane tank, propane hose and regulator, hook it here, you're ready to go. Fuel oil connection, same thing. Supply, return. Don't reduce them, same size. Up above, this is the stock outlet. This is where your combustion air and gas mixture, flue gases are coming out of the boiler. We have the adapters made up where you open that up, set them in there, bolt them up, you're ready to go. Steam connection, we bring the steam connection up high. And the reason we do that twofold, one, we don't want that steam connection down low where it's gonna be running 400 degrees sitting down here at ground level. We want that up high. Two, if you bring, when you bring it to the site, you're not gonna put that into the building typically at this level. You're gonna be bringing it overhead. We don't wanna bring it down, then you have to take it back up into the building. Keep it up high, put it on the pipe rack, take it in where it's away from everybody. Well, now you know what is enclosed in a mobile boiler room. We appreciate Steven Taylor coming by and talking about the fire tube rental. Tune in next time on our YouTube channel where we'll be talking about the water tube boiler. Like us on Facebook, Follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Hey, last question. Where'd you get the shirt? Forsteamware.com. Purchase a shirt online, forsteamware.com. All proceeds 
will go to charity.